Hey guys, today I have a leg video for you and today I'm going to compare four different bags for you. So I've never compared four bags before. I think the most I've done before is three. So I'm going to try my best to compare all four of these bags for you guys. So I just received the Roundabout XL. Just purchased it and received it in the mail today. So I was excited to compare some of these other bags to it. So I have the Roundabout XL and the Scoop 2, the original Scoop, and the Roundabout 2. And then I just wanted to compare all of these so you could kind of see some size comparisons. If you were thinking about the Roundabout XL, then you can see how it compares to the original Roundabout and the size difference. And then it just looked just so similar to me to the Scoop. I mean, like here's the Scoop 2 and here's the Roundabout XL and they look so similar. So I'm gonna show you some similarities, some differences. I'm not gonna pack any of these to see about the capacity because I feel like that's gonna get too long of a video. So I just wanna just kind of go over all of these and show you the differences and the similarities the size differences, compare them all together. Then I'm also going to show you how all these wear on the body as a belt bag, as a crossbody, or however they can be worn. So let's go ahead and get started with this video on the comparisons between the Roundabout XL, the Roundabout 2, Scoop 2, and the original Scoop. So I guess the first thing that I'll do is I'll just kind of show you the size comparison. So let's take the Roundabout XL, and it still has the tag on it because I literally just got it in the mail today to the roundabout. You can see how much wider the XL is. I've got them down at the bottom together. So you can see how much wider that is. The height on them is about the same, but you can see that the XL is a little bit longer. So then I wanted to compare it to the scoop too. So you can put those side by side. Let me put the roundabout in the front because it's a little bit smaller. So there is the Scoop 2 behind it. So it's about the same size difference as the Roundabout was to the Roundabout XL. So you can kind of see, here's the Roundabout, and then here's the Roundabout XL, and then here is the Scoop 2. And then if I can do this, let me put the Scoop in the back. And you can kind of see that size difference. So the Scoop is the longest, and the Scoop 2 is the next longest, the Roundabout XL, and then the Roundabout. And they all have a similar height except the Roundabout is just a little bit, as you can see the difference, it's a little bit shorter than all the other bags. So let me just kind of show you another comparison. So the scoop can only be carried as a shoulder bag or a crossbody bag, and the scoop to the same, but the roundabout and the roundabout XL can be carried as a shoulder bag, a crossbody bag, a belt bag, and then the roundabout can be also carried as a wristlet as well. So you have different options of carrying the Roundabout XL and the Roundabout over the scoop. But I'm just telling you, these look so similar that I had to compare them just so you could see the similarities between the Scoop 2 and the Roundabout XL. Okay, so since the newest bag is the Roundabout XL, let's just go ahead and start off with it. So it does have a grab handle on it. The Scoop 2 has a grab handle. The Scoop has a grab handle, but the Roundabout does not. So this is the only one of these four bags that does not have a grab handle. And that's just something that that's missing because a grab handle is so great. So all of these have the one inch straps and you have the addition of the belt bag for both the Roundabout XL and the Roundabout. So the Roundabout XL has the Curse of Love logo in the front. The Scoop and the Scoop 2 have the metal plate logos. And then the Roundabout 2 also has the metal plate logos. And then you can see there's a quilting difference. So the Roundabout XL has that like that macro over exaggerated quilting on it. And you can kind of see how the Scoop 2 has the smaller chevron style quilting in the front. And the Roundabout has this same quilting that is on the Roundabout XL, but you can see it's in a smaller frame. So you can see this is over exaggerated and this is that same quilting, just a little bit smaller. And then the Scoop has just a flat front on it. So that's the differences in the quilting, the logos, and then this Roundabout XL has tonal zippers and the pulls are gunmetal, but your zippers are gonna be tonal and the rest of the hardware is gonna be gunmetal. On the Scoop 2, you have tonal zippers, gunmetal hardware and zipper pulls. On the Roundabout, you have tonal zippers and gunmetal pulls. And on the scoop, you have, this is the Heather Grace, so you've got the black zippers with the black pulls, but you have the gunmetal hardware right here. 
So I know I'm kind of comparing all four of these for you in this video, so it kind of feels like it's maybe all over the place. If you want two of these bags compared, I have compared the original Scoop to the Scoop 2. I already have a video comparing these two, so I can link that down below if you want to see that comparison. Um, but I don't think I've compared any of the other bags in here. Like I said, I just got this bag, so I haven't compared it with anything. But it just seemed so similar to the Scoop. And somebody asked me to compare it to the Scoop. But in my mind, I was thinking that it was so similar to the Scoop 2 that I definitely wanted to compare it. So I just kind of was getting all of these bags to just try to show you the size comparison and everything with it. So let's start with this Roundabout XL. So I already showed you the difference with the zippers and how it can be carried and the quilting patterns that are in the front. So in the front of the Roundabout XL, you've got a horizontal zipper area and there's your lining for this sand tote. It's that wildlife tonal pattern in here. So you have a really good open pocket in the front. So you can see how much that opens up in the front of the Roundabout XL. Same thing with the Roundabout. You do have that horizontal zipper area and this one is felt lined in the Roundabout too. The one in the Roundabout XL is not felt lined. And then for the scoop, you do have that horizontal zipper there and it's felt lined as well. So your scoop and your roundabout both have a felt lining in that front zipper. The XL does not, and then the scoop two does not. So those are very similar in their front pockets and then the scoop and the roundabout two are very similar in those. Then behind on the roundabout XL, you do have that magnetic close felt lined area for your cell phone. It can fit horizontally in there and there's plenty of room for even the bigger phones. In the scoop, you have an additional zipper area that goes and kind of zips around to the side just a little bit, not all the way down, but kind of halfway down on the side. You can see how wide that opens up, and that's just a regular lined pocket. This is in the heather gray, and it has that really pretty floral pattern that's on the inside of it, so you can see how nicely that that opens up. So that's an additional pocket that you have in the front of the scoop that the other ones don't have. So in the Scoop 2, behind that horizontal zipper area, you do have your magnetic close felt lined area in that one as well. And then in the Roundabout 2, the next zipper that you have is one that zips all the way around to the side. So you can see that it has that really nice gusset opening on that, which is a built-in wallet. So that's your second zipper on the Roundabout 2. The second zipper on your Scoop is this one right here that just has no organization in it. And then like you have your cell phone pocket as your second compartment in the front of the Roundabout XL. And same thing with the Scoop 2. So on the Roundabout, you have your built-in wallet in that second zip around area that zips all the way down to the bottom. So it has that middle divided area that has a zipper pocket on the inside of that. You have a stretchy cargo pocket on one side. And then you have that really nice area where you can throw things in that side as well. Then on the other side, you have your wallet that has that long bill slip pocket, and then it has a place for eight credit card slots on this side, and then when you turn it around, it has this plastic area, and then it has a slot for four different credit cards, and so this has a lot of built-in functions for a wallet on this roundabout too, for that second zipper pocket. Now, after that, let's go to the roundabout XL. So, as you can see the difference in the roundabout XL and the roundabout two, this does not have a designated cell phone pocket. The Scoop does not have a designated cell phone pocket, but it does have that front zipper that is felt lined, as opposed to the Scoop 2 has a designated cell phone area. I mean, I'm just telling you, these look so similar, you guys. And so then, when you open up the next zipper area in the roundabout XL, which zips all the way down the side, and it is a double zipper, you can see how it opens with that gusset area. So it has a really nice, it has a really nice built-in wallet. And this is the first time I'm looking at it because like I said, I did just get this and wanted to compare these for you guys. Because I know this is a newer bag and some people may be thinking about buying it. So I wanted to kind of compare it to some of the older bags that we have here. So when you open this up with that double zipper and that really nice gusset, and it's in front of the grab handle, you have a stretchy cargo pocket that's all the way across it, not divided, and it is felt lined. And then when you turn it around, you have this really nice built-in wallet. So it has that long slot for bill slots, and then it has a slot for eight credit cards on here. So that's really nice, and it's got a really nice opening on that. So that is basically like your second zipper area, but kind of like your third compartment bag. When you compare it to the Scoop, that next one is a double zip that zips all the way around as well. You can see when you open it, it has that really nice guessing, and that is where your built-in wallet is. The difference in the Scoop to the 
to the roundabout XL is you both have that built-in wallet. On the roundabout XL, you have your stretchy cargo pocket, bill slots, eight credit card slots on your scoop, which that's also in front of the grab handle as well. You have a divided stretchy cargo pocket area. It's not felt lined. And then you have that middle zipper compartment. And then you have your built-in wallet that's right here that has a slot for eight credit cards on this. So that's your built-in wallet on your scoop, which is basically like the third zipper back. And on your roundabout, it's the third compartment back, but your second zipper back. And then on the roundabout two, you actually had it as your second zipper part because you don't have that designated cell phone area. On the scoop, when you come to that third compartment back, which is that double zip area in front of the grab handle, it zips all the way down to the side as well, and that's where your built-in wallet is on it. So the built-in wallet for it has two stretchy cargo pockets, not felt line, that middle divided area, and then when you turn it around, it has that long pocket for your bill slots, and then it has a slot for eight credit cards on that. You can see that all of these open with a really nice gusset on their built-in wallets. You can see that in all four of these bags. And then next up, with starting with the roundabout XL, you're gonna go behind that grab handle and you're gonna get another zipper area. And it's also a double zip. And again, it zips from top to bottom all the way around. And then when you open it up, see I haven't even taken the paper off of it. When you open it up, you've got that really nice gusset in there as well. This is completely wipeable. So it's that same wipeable surface you have in your trolleys and your parasols and all of your makeup product bags. You have one, two, three, four. You have four bungees where you can put mascara, lip glosses, pens, highlighters, anything that you might use like that. And you don't have to worry about it getting in anything in here because you can completely wipe that out. And then on the other side, you do have a zipper area. So you have a clear view pocket zipper area on the other side. So this opens really nice. You can put a lot of makeup in there if you wanna do that or anything that you're gonna have to worry about possibly leaking on the bag, you're not gonna have to worry about because it, it does have that plastic lining on the inside. So that is the back zipper pocket of the roundabout XL. And when you go to the next pocket of the scoop, it again is behind the grab handle and it is a single zip. Does not zip all the way around like the roundabout XL does. But when you open it up, you have two cargo pockets, not felt lined. And then on the other side, you have a zipper clear pocket area. So you can see how nicely that that opens up. So that's your original scoop. And that's the same kind of pocket area that I just showed you from the roundabout XL. Then when you go to the roundabout two, you have a single zip pocket, and then it is gonna open up, and you have the four bungees over here, and you have that wipeable area here, but then you also have a mesh pocket here. So instead of in the roundabout XL where you have a completely wipeable area, this whole back is completely wipeable with the clear view pocket, you have a mesh zipper pocket on the side, inside of the roundabout, the roundabout two. But then you also have that wipeable area over here. So it doesn't open as wide as the roundabout XL does, but it still has that really nice area for you to put any kind of makeup products or anything that you might want to in that area. And then the back zipper area of the scoop two, which is behind the grab handle, single zip. It zips similarly to the scoop that it does not go all the way around like the roundabout and the roundabout XL do. When you open it up, you have your clear view zipper area here and two stretchy cargo pockets in the back. Now, that's all your zippered areas for all of these, but the roundabout XL, it also has your belt loops because you can use this as a belt bag. And then it has a horizontal zipper in the back. So you can see the yes, no organization in here, but it does have a back zipper area. The roundabout two has your belt loops right here. Also has a strap for a wristlet but then you have just an open area here. It's not a magnetic close, it just opens here in the back, so it does not zip like the roundabout XL does. In the back of the scoop, you also have a zipper area, horizontal, no organization in it, just a really nice roomy area in the back. It does not have belt loops because you cannot carry it as a belt bag. The scoop too also has that horizontal zipper in the back, and as you can see, no organization in it. So these are very similar as far as the organization that they have. As far as the size goes, the Scoop is definitely the biggest one. It's a little bit bigger than the Scoop 2 is. The Scoop 2 and the Roundabout XL are so similar in size. I mean, look at these guys. They are so similar. And then the Roundabout 2 is the smallest of the bags. But I think I did go through all the pockets for you. 
let you see how they were all carried and everything like that. So now let me just show you how they wear on the body. So one way that you can wear the scoop too is it's a cross body. And so here's where I have it adjusted at. So you have this much more room that you can adjust it even longer. This is a one inch strap that it does come with. Here's a side view as well of the scoop as a cross body. And then you can also carry this bag as a shoulder bag. So let me just go ahead and adjust this as short as it'll get so that you can see how this would look as a shoulder bag. I don't ever carry it as a shoulder bag, but it is an option that you can do. And so here is the scoop too as a shoulder bag. So the first way I wanted to show you how you could carry the scoop, the original scoop is as a crossbody. So here's my adjustment. Again, this is how much you can adjust to this one even longer if you want. And here's a side view of the scoop as a crossbody bag. You can also carry this bag as a shoulder bag. So I will adjust it as short as it gets so you can see how it looks as a shoulder bag. Again, this is another one that I only carry crossbody, but I did want to show you the other option to carry this as a shoulder bag. So you can see how it looks from the front and then also how it looks from the side as well. Okay, so here is the roundabout XL as a crossbody bag. So I have it adjusted and right here's the adjustment. So you've got this much more length that you could do it even longer. I like it to hit right at the hip. I don't carry mine any longer, but I am 5'5 five five for reference. So this is how this looks on somebody that's 5'5. Five five. So this is the crossbody for the roundabout XL. And then you can also carry this one as a shoulder bag. So let me show you how that one looks as a shoulder bag. So here you can see a side view of where it would hit. And here is a front view. And then you can also carry this one as a belt bag. So this one is probably one of the larger sizes that I will carry as a belt bag, but I do love a great belt bag. So let's just see how this one looks. And like I said, I just got this one, so I haven't even tried this one on myself to see how it looks. So this is how the Roundabout XL looks as a belt bag. So you can see a side view of the size of it. And then here is a front view. So here's the Roundabout XL as a belt bag. So here is the Roundabout 2 as a crossbody. So you can see the size of this. Now this doesn't quite have a one inch strap. This is even thinner than the one inch straps. So this is a really thin strap, but it does look cute as a crossbody if you wanna carry it as a crossbody. This is one you can also carry as a shoulder bag as well. So let me just adjust that for you guys. So you can see how it carries as a shoulder bag. So you can see how that looks and where it hits. And then let me adjust it for the belt bag. This is how the roundabout two looks as a belt bag. It's a really good size. It is so comparable to the coupe just has a little bit more organization. So here's the roundabout too, it's a belt bag. So now that you've seen how they all wear on the body and the different ways that they can be worn on the body, I hope that was a little bit more helpful for you to kind of get a size comparison as well for all four of these bags. I hope this video was helpful to you. Like I said, the roundabout XL I just received, so I really haven't got to pack it up and see how I like it or anything like that. I can maybe even do an individual review of this one after I've carried it for a little while and worn it and see how I like it. But I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I hope it was very helpful to you guys. I hope to see you in my next video and until then, I hope you have a wonderful day.